We want to get back over to Victoria Lucas, who attended a vigil tonight in honor of a 19 year old father who was shot and killed in the city's East End. She joins us now in our digital center with more. It was an evening filled with grief, honor and remembrance for Tremaine Reed. And all those who love the Lord say amen. 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 And if you really love amen, man, say amen with a loud voice. Amen. Come on, let's give God a a community prayer vigil in honor of Tremaine Reed, a 19-year-old man shot and killed on February 20th of this year. Richmond police officers received a report of a person shot on North 22nd Street around 8 p.m. They then learned two people had arrived at a nearby hospital with gunshot wounds. Reed later dying due to his injuries. The juvenile with him sustaining non-life-threatening injuries, taking to the microphone to speak of his friend. Everywhere he go, I was there, like, and it's like, now I'm out of the wood by myself. Like, he's not dead. can't call him, come outside, no, none of that. Community members along with city and religious leaders doing the same, but turning the matter into one of a call to action. If y'all could show this support right here for each other, for everything else, it would be, it would be just, I, the sky's the limit. I don't know about, not about nobody else, but I'm tired of that, right? Because every time this happens to one of my black kings, it happens to me as a mother. If I can say anything to you today, I'm going to say, let's love each other. Let's get it right. We got to get it right. Reed's father and mother rather stoic, refraining from speaking publicly as they are grieving the life of their son taken too soon, but expressing later the gratitude of the support from the community. Reed leaves behind a one month old child. We learned at this evening's prayer vigil that Reed and the juvenile you saw were coming from the Z Life program at the Peter Paul Coleman Promise Center, a program geared towards support for young adults in employment, mentorship, and more. Reed's funeral services will be held tomorrow at 11 a.m. at Mims Funeral Home. In the Digital Center, Victoria Lucas, 8 News.